you know, on the one hand, you have how grace changes all of us. It totally changes our stories, in fact. And I love that the outflow of that produced is, is, is grace coming out of your life and getting to see all that comes with that. And that's, that is the culture of this church. And I, I love and I'm so proud to be a part of this. Um, a, few, a, few, a few quick words, okay? Uh, God, some years ago, gave me these four words for me personally. He said, here, Javen, this is a great filter, if you will. I've been praying about some things, and God had given me a great filter to sort of see uh, the, the things that you just heard. How was the outflow of your life? And these four things were this, giving, generous, gracious, and growing. They were all G's because we're Grace Church, you know? It should be a G, right? And so God gave me these four G's, you know? And then he said to me, he said, look, these aren't just great filters for your own life, but you can see these filters work amongst the community the community and the culture of the church. And let me give you these things. These are the things that will, you can absolutely live your life through these things, and they're backed up all throughout Scripture. Number one, that you'd be gracious. Gracious. That's what we want to be here as a church, gracious, right? Well, that makes sense because the name of the church is Grace Church, right? Well, maybe, okay, because you can have a title like Grace Church and not be very gracious, okay? Because this word gets lost in our, our culture's understanding of it, right? Grace commonly means giving somebody grace. Like, I'm going to give you a little bit of room you don't deserve, but okay, you forgot to pay your bills. I'll give you a grace period. We, we know it as that, as sort of a mercy. But that's not actually what that word means in Scripture. What it really means in Scripture is being for people. God is for every single one of us, right? And so we as a people, we get to be for people. Sometimes that's easy and sometimes that takes the Spirit's help, right? But we can be a gracious people. You can be a gracious person in the middle of a situation where you're at work, in the middle of, a, uh, of any situation that causes you uh, grief or pain or, or, or trouble, you can actually be gracious. Gracious.